All right guys, so I'm making butterfish. Fried Jamaican butterfish. I've never made it before. This is my first time, okay? So you wanna get your fish together, you know, wash it, clean it up, all that good stuff. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna be putting on this fish, your ingredients. I'm gonna be using some black pepper and some adobo, some lemon pepper. You're gonna be needing some oil, probably some cumin, some garlic. Use whatever you have, as I always say in my videos, this is just a base, this is what I do, okay? Make it your own. I'm also gonna be using some onions and some bell peppers. You call them sweet peppers too in Jamaica. Now, you wanna get your fish together, make sure they're dry, pat dry them with a paper towel. And you're gonna put little slices on them. The reason for that is we're trying to get all the seasonings inside those little slots so it could taste good, you know what I mean? So just slice them up real good, like what I'm doing there. Okay. Now, whatever else you want to add to it, feel free to do it. It's your fish, remember? <laughs> All right, so you want to get some flour. I'm using like a cup of flour with like a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you're going to dust your fish lightly in this flour mixture. I guess I did that because I didn't want the fish to fall apart when I was frying it because I wasn't sure about it. But um, I think you don't have to do this after I fry them up. You want to get your skillet. And I'm using As I was saying, I'm using one and a half cups of oil. That's because of the amount of fish that I was frying. And you wanna fry these nice little fish <laughs> three minutes on each side. And they should come out nice and golden brown after six minutes or so. They're really small, okay? Okay, everybody, so finally done frying the fish. See, very thin type of fish, breaks easily. Right, they're super thin and crunchy. You hear that? See? Very crunchy type of fish. Mmm. Mmm. They're really delicious. A little bit sweet tasting, but really crunchy, really delicious. Okay. All right. So you want to just get your skillet. This is step two. You just want to add a little bit of oil to your skillet. You don't have to. And you're going to put your bell peppers and your onions in the oil and add half a cup of vinegar. That's all I'm using, half a cup. Now, some people might want to call this escovish fish where you pickle your bell peppers and, you know, whatever else in some vinegar and pour it all over your fish. I'm just calling this fry fish today, honey, because it's just some little fry fish it's just some little butter fish it's not a fancy no big old you know elaborate stuff but you gotta put all your bell peppers and your onions and your habaneros or scotch bonnet make sure you put it all over your fish okay and you're gonna pour that vinegar all over the fish try to get it on each piece of fish all right so the fry fish is done this is what it looks like all the fish is buried underneath all that nice onion and sweet pepper or bell peppers. Y'all yeah, call it bell peppers up here. Now let just stay for a couple of hours so all that vinegar can get into the fish and it should be really, really yummy. All right. Now you can serve this with whatever you want. Okay. It's up to you. And that's it. So that's how I do some little fry butter fish that's what I call it I hope you like this video don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel here don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it all right hope this helps this was my first time making butter fish maybe I'll do it again because it tastes really good and that's it thank you for watching next time